Australian Rotary Health Indigenous Health Scholarships. From small things, big things grow. Past Rotarian Jeff Bailey, OAM, was a pharmacist from South Australia and had a vision to change health outcomes in Indigenous communities by utilising government funding to provide scholarships for Indigenous students. Giving a hand up instead of a handout was part of his philosophy. After a successful pilot project with the South Australian Government and South Australian Rotary Clubs, Australian Rotary Health took on the program in 2003. This program continues with the support of the Commonwealth Government. The Indigenous Health Scholarship is valued at $5,000 per year and is paid in two parts to the students. The scholarship is co-funded by the Commonwealth Government and some state governments, corporates, rotary clubs and individuals. A yearly commitment for the scholarship by a rotary club is $2,500. Each year the scholarship supports between 70 and 80 students through their health related degree. To date, we have had over 275 students graduate through the program. Students must have completed at least one year at university before applying for this scholarship. It should be noted that around 20% of Indigenous doctors in Australia have received funding from our program. Now let's meet some of our past and present students and find out what the scholarship means to them. Hi, my name's Emily. I'm a Kurungal woman from the Gold Coast in Queensland. But I'm currently studying medicine at Monash down in Melbourne. Hi everybody, my name's Jenny Brees. Um, I studied social work at the University of Sunshine Coast as a mature age student. And since then have also completed a, a graduate certificate in higher education, learning and teaching. And I'm currently studying a graduate diploma of Indigenous research and methodology. Hello, my name's Kimberly Green. I'm a Dharawal woman from the south coast of New South Wales. Um, and I'm currently enrolled in a Bachelor of Nursing with Charles Sturt University. I chose to study social work because of my life experience. Uh, I became uh, a mother at just 16 and by the age of 21 had three children. I found it really difficult to break the patterns that I had fallen into uh, around life choices, life circumstances, um, learning to live in poverty rather than trying to rise above poverty. And um, I wanted more for my life than being welfare dependent. And it's not that I could call it that at the time, but I knew that I was dependent on a pension. And I knew that I wasn't setting a great example for my children. So I chose to study because I wanted to walk alongside other people who had experienced childhood trauma, domestic violence, um, marginalization from society as a young single mother in an era where we were very much frowned upon and targeted by the wider population. I've been an endorsed enrolled nurse since 2010. So I enrolled in the Bachelor of Nursing in 2015 because it was the obvious career progression for me to be able to improve my own personal knowledge as well as my own nursing scope of practice. Um, I started the Bachelor of Nursing in 2015, but took a two year leave of absence in 2017 to do the Bachelor of Health Science in Mental Health. And then once I had graduated that in 2018, I decided it was time to go back and finish what I had started. I first discovered the Australian Rotary Health Indigenous Health Scholarship on the Aurora Indigenous Scholarship Portal, which is a platform that helps to connect you with different scholarships you're eligible for based on your year and field of study. Um, so I applied for ARH 
Indigenous Health Scholarship at the end of my first year of medicine and was lucky enough to be successful and started receiving this scholarship in my second year of study. I learned about the Australian Rotary Health Indigenous Scholarship um, through an email that came to my student account at university. I looked into the scholarship and, um, and wondered if I deserved to apply for it um, because I had not grown up with my mob. Uh, I had been raised in a Western family and um, I had felt that I had experienced great privilege and that other people needed the scholarship more. However, after engaging with some elders in the community I lived in and talking to them about it, I realised that freeing up some time, uh, some extra time um, would actually assist me. At, at the time that I heard about the scholarship, I was working three different jobs. I was studying full time. I had four of my five children living at home. Um, and I was also raising one of my grandchildren. So there wasn't a lot of time to engage beyond my local community. And I really wanted to spend time um, connecting with my own community who I was still building relationships with, but I also wanted to be able to focus more on my study to ensure that I got the deepest possible learning that I could out of it. I came across a scholarship during an internet search. I'd never applied for external scholarships, um, but when I was looking through the ARH scholarship page, I came across the page with um, current and previous recipients and noticed that there was a few recipients that had done the Bachelor of Health Science that I was enrolled in um, and that gave me the courage to apply. I'm so grateful to have received this scholarship over the past two years and now continuing into my third year. This scholarship has allowed me the freedom to focus on my studies and goals uh, whilst also pursuing extracurricular activities. It's helped me to cover the basic costs of living out of home, uh, whilst also contributing to different study materials needed for my clinical placement, such as textbooks, uniforms, and other medical instruments. It's definitely taken the stress out of having to sustain a part-time job whilst studying and has allowed me to continue investing as much time as possible into studying and my clinical placements to develop my skills and interactions with health professionals and patients. So receiving the scholarship meant that I was able to use it to pay for things that I normally wouldn't have been able to do. For example, camping on, uh, parking on campus. I um, really struggled to pay for parking because it was so expensive, but the nearest free car park was quite some distance away. And I was on the sun, Sunshine Coast and, and you know the humidity there, I found to be quite draining. So that was really problematic for me uh, as were the bus services at the time. So I used the scholarship to be able to pay for parking a semester at a time, which was a lot cheaper than paying day by day. I used the scholarship to purchase textbooks that I otherwise was constantly either borrowing or reborrowing from the library or, you know, working extra. Um, one of the jobs I did was bond cleaning on a weekend. So it meant that I was actually able to stop doing that job on a weekend and still have the money to purchase my textbooks and instead be able to actually spend more time being present with my children and my family and, and doing things with them. There were quite a lot of, a lot of challenges on the journey. Like, like I mentioned previously, I was working three jobs, raising children, raising a grandchild and studying full time. Um, so there were multiple challenges within that. Um, but then on top of that, there were other challenges, you know, um, being a mature age student who didn't finish high school, there was the challenge of building my own confidence in my ability to study at university. There was challenge, there were challenges around 
um, my own self identity and worth as someone who didn't finish school. So it was a real challenge to um, build up my confidence and to lose that intruder identity that so many mature age students experience where you know you feel like you shouldn't be there or that you don't deserve to be there or that one day someone's going to tap you on the shoulder and tell you you can't be there and in large part being an aboriginal woman you know was a big part of that intruder identity because western institutions of higher education were not designed for aboriginal people um, you know, predominantly they were designed for middle class white male school leavers and that has evolved over time, but is still not, you know, with a Eurocentric curriculum, they're still not designed for Aboriginal people. So having the scholarship meant that I was able to, you know, like I said, stop the weekend bond clean, study more, learn more deeply, engage with other mature age students and share experiences um, and overcome these challenges. The COVID has actually been one of the biggest hurdles for me personally. Um, it has delayed my graduation by 12 months now because of um, being un unable to attend residential schools and workplace learning. Um, I'm still playing catch up from subjects from session one in 2020. Um, so for me, the biggest hurdle has been my course progression and being able to um, complete subjects as they should have been. Another really big hurdle for me was starting a new job this year with greater responsibilities at work. Um, I've really had to manage my own personal time and my professional time quite strictly to be able to continue studying. I would definitely recommend the Australian Rotary Health Indigenous Health Scholarship to other health students. I've had a great experience with the program so far. And for me, it's not just about receiving the benefits of the scholarship, but you're really made to feel like part of a community with the various checkups and meetups throughout the year. It's been great to be able to connect with other recipients and even the donors themselves and learn from their personal journeys and experiences. A lot of effort really does go into making sure the students feel well supported and I really appreciate that. Um, and I think this is such a wonderful program and I'm so grateful and fortunate to be a recipient of this scholarship um, and I'm grateful for their continual support. I have really enjoyed my relationship with the project. It is an incredible project that opens so many doors for students who are in receipt of the scholarship. I particularly enjoyed meeting Rotarians and sharing stories with the Rotarians around uh, life, studies, what Rotary is about and what Rotary do, um, how Rotary operate and, and give to you know, such incredible causes like the scholarship. I particularly enjoyed being able to uh, speak as a guest at Rotary dinners and share my journey to give back to Rotary and say thank you um, for the scholarship and for what it meant for me and my family. In that there were always people who wanted to know more, who you know, were, were so deeply touched by the fact that someone was able to stand in their presence and articulate uh, how grateful they were for the scholarship and what it meant for them. And, and I guess in that, possibly finding that sense of knowing where, you know, we are reinforcing for Rotarians that what they are doing is a beautiful thing that we are grateful for. Uh, I think that so often we give money to different causes without really knowing where it goes or how it's spent or what it means to the recipients. And I have really enjoyed being able to um, be humble in that space to say thank you uh, and to share how absolutely grateful I still am for having received that scholarship. And that's meant that I've been able to stay involved with the program and 
have been invited to different functions to talk to current recipients of the scholarship and to encourage them to keep going on their journey when it gets hard or you know to network more with the Rotarians that they're involved with and to give back to Rotary. Um, reciprocity is one of my core values as an Aboriginal woman so being able to give back to Rotary is something that I particularly enjoy doing and appreciate having the opportunity to continue doing. I would definitely recommend the ARH Indigenous Health Scholarship. Um, for me, the scholarship has made the financial burden of attending university just a little bit less um, and has provided some relief in being able to, to buy things like internet, um, to have access to technology, just to be able to access my course content. Um, for me, it's also been a very enjoyable journey with the Sutherland Rotary Health um, sponsorship. Um, I felt like my sponsoring team was genuinely interested in what I was doing and where my education was up to and how I had progressed through the year. Um, so their, their support has been very much appreciated. It's been a privilege to be a recipient of the ARH Indigenous Health Scholarship and I've had a great engagement with the program so far. So during my second year of study, I had the opportunity to visit my sponsor at one of their weekly Rotary Club meetings, um, where I was able to share my journey and experiences with studying medicine. It was great to be able to meet and engage with my sponsor and learn more about the work and events of the Rotary Club. I've also been invited to and attended the Scholars' Night, which was a great opportunity to meet other Indigenous Health Scholarship recipients, as well as some PhD scholars, um, and hear about their work and journey with Australian Rotary Health. Uh, last year, I also attended a casual catch up uh, via Zoom with other Indigenous Health Scholarship recipients from the ACT and New South Wales. Um, so there's been plenty of opportunities to meet other scholars and share experiences, which I've really enjoyed. I would recommend all allied health students apply for a Rotary scholarship and become involved with Rotary and particularly with their sponsoring club. It has provided so many avenues for me that I didn't know even existed or could exist. The relationships I've been able to build with Rotarians over the years um, have been really warm, um, very shared relationships where we're able to support each other in knowledge sharing ways and to show, you know, long term that the value of the scholarship is so deep that it doesn't just end when university ends, that we can build these relationships and networks that can last a lifetime um, and bring about change. You know, as, as a social worker, a lot of what I do is about advocating for change. In my current role as a lecturer at the Nikiri Institute, I am able to share my knowledge with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students around how to bring about change in a Western system. So um, getting involved in the scholarship program as a student or as a Rotarian giving to the program, there is space for incredibly amazing relationships to be built out of that that are beneficial to everybody involved. And I think it's important to keep that in mind that um, the reciprocity that occurs through this program can last forever. Jess project has developed from its small beginnings and will continue to grow with the support and generosity from our Rotary Clubs and Rotarians. If you would like to have more information on the Indigenous Health Scholarship, please contact Cheryl Deguara at Australian Rotary Health.